Vietnam is one of those countries that some tourists visit just for the food. Dicko hopped on board a scenic cruise for a mouth-watering tour of this wonderful country. In Vietnam, all travel from the ship is via sampan, a traditional flat-bottom boat that gives us easy access to villages along the Mekong. So how many people live on the Mekong Delta? It's about 21.5 million people, uh, one-fifth of uh, a whole population of Vietnam. Oh, right. Yeah. And it's mainly farming? Yeah, I'm, uh, mainly farming communities. And that's why it's called the rice bowl Vietnam. Every year, this area produces more than 70% of our agricultural production for whole Vietnam. It's a very wavy river. Everyone waves. Yeah. And with Scenic, you'll have the chance to discover places that are well off the traditional tourist route. OK, that's cool. Let me introduce you to one of the local markets in my hometown. The market is not simply like a place for people trading. So it's just a good place to come and hang out? Yeah, absolutely. It's like a social place. So for me, if I got free time, I love to go to the kinds of market like this instead of like supermarket. You like the market? I love the market. I love chatting with you. It lifts my spirits. <laughs> yeah. Vietnamese villages like Sa Dec revolve around the local market where you can get absolutely everything you could possibly want for a meal, including specialties like rats and frogs, as well as the all-important daily staple. And we have about 3,000 different kinds of rice growing in Vietnam. 3,000 different types of rice? Yeah. No, there's only two types of rice, boiled rice and fried rice. <laughs> no, no. There's variety and more than that. They cook. Our final stop on our jaunt through the Vietnamese countryside is Kai Bay, and if it's as good as it smells, I love it already. Nicole, let me introduce you to the village where a lot of local making sweet lolly. The candy man. Yeah, candy, candy man. to him. Inside this one now they have uh, rice, pop rice. Yeah. They have peanuts, mm -hmm. and as you see, different uh, ingredients. What's this lolly uh, called? We call it uh, rice candy. Rice candy? Rice candy. Oh, big rollers, look. Yeah. Wow. So this guy is like the Vietnamese Willy Wonka. Yeah. Now, this is my kind of factory line. It's amazingly efficient. The whole process from popping the rice through the flavouring it, cutting it and packaging it, it's all been within, like, 10 metres. Yeah. And it's come out beautiful, colourful and lovely, yummy, yummy pop rice. Rice Stop candy. teasing okay. me. Okay. Open your mouth. Oh my, you, you're happy to go mm. now. Uh... If cruising the Mekong soothed our souls, then Ho Chi Minh City is a dead set heart starter. It's a city with its mojo working. It's a city that never sleeps. It's a city that can give you an adrenaline rush before breakfast. And that's just trying to cross the road. Oh. Blimey. Now rest assured that throughout your visit, Scenic will keep you in the very lap of luxury. But from time to time, they may also throw you the odd curveball just to test how young at heart you really are. This is one of Scenic's free choice dining experiences. A foodie tour by Vespa. So not only do we get the exhilarating experience of riding in this crazy city, we'll get fed all kinds of local delicacies along the way. The one phrase I've learned in Ho Chi Minh City is, oi joy oi! It means, oh my god! Ah! And on this tour, the phrase comes in very handy. You have to use this in Vietnam. I can't listen to you, I'm too scared to. <laughs> My guide Duke has a whole host of new things for me to test out tonight, and I thought I was being brave on the back of a scooter. Tonight I want to introduce you to one of my favourite food. Yeah? Yes. Croc legs. Crocs. Crocs. Better than chicken. Here it goes. Really hot. He's right. Chicken. After chomping down a few frog's legs, we're back in the thick of it. 
So, Duke, where we go now? We're headed to our Marcel. What's that? It's a Vietnamese pizza. Vietnamese pizza? Yes. You say Saigon, I say Ho Chi Minh, you say pizza, I'm calling that a pancake. No, I call it bánh xèo. It's a pancake, it's not bánh pizza. Xèo. Let's just try it. OK, let's go and help it. Whatever you want to call it, this Vietnamese specialty is a winner. I think I'm in love. Yum, yum. This is certainly a night I won't forget in a hurry. And I never thought I'd say it, but I actually don't want it to end. Try and drop. Get cold. I'm going to treat you to a nightcap. You know what that is? What is a nightcap? It's a special drink you have when you don't want to go home. Really? Yep. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> you say cheers in Vietnamese. All your class raising and yep. say mop. Mop. Hi. Hi. Ba. Ba. Yo. Yo. 